Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nick. Uh, we're doing another uh, 60 second word sprint today on Write Daily. It's week two of our first week. So let's open up that web browser, sit down one word.com, give you a second to catch up. I'm gonna try and do a shorter video today because last time I tried to do a shorter video, I ended up with a 25 minute video. Um, my bad. <laughs> I'm gonna aim for like a 10 minute video today. Um, somewhere in the 10 to 15 minute region, I always want to kind of stay within that going forward, try to get it down to like 10 minutes because it's going to be a little bit of me talking and then a little bit of going over the other things on the on the site after we submit. That's more of where I want it. So if you're caught up, I'm going to click this go button. I'm going to do the usual meet myself music and we'll meet up on the other side. Let's do it. So I'm done at the chime. I have to sneeze. So hold on. Okay. The sneeze is all out. I'm done directly at the chime today. Um, I wrote what was in my head, which is good. I already had something once I saw this word. I kind of blanked out it for a bit. Didn't see it for a couple of seconds. But when I saw driveway, I've been actually talking about driveways a lot with my roommate lately. Um, it's pretty funny. <laughs> play a lot of pokemon go and it involves driving into areas we haven't either driven into before or aren't very familiar with and we always end up driving down a dead end even though i warn her please do not go down the dead end there's no way out but she's she gets kind of like single focus when she sees like that grammar or like that clefable or i mean not a clefable like like clefairy or onyx or something she's going so today I wrote, she didn't like to pull in the driveways with her lights on. It freaked her out to think she was freaking other people out, shining her eye beams into somebody's living room just because she needed to, to turn around. You never knew what people were doing, but privacy we were invading just because you drove into a dead end. The thing was, it was happening more and more often lately. Which makes mine like, kind of ominous. The beginning of it is like it's an accident and literally it kind of freaks said roommate out to turn into someone's driveway and have your lights on because you shine it into their house you don't know what they're thinking they're like who's that who's in my driveway and i i do remember thinking when i was younger and i lived at my mom's house that every time some lights came into the, the house it's like who's that who's there who's pulled in the driveway are you expecting company that nobody told me about because nobody would ever tell me about anything. <laughs> and then this latter half, I, I really like, you never knew what people doing with privacy were invading just because you drove into a dead end. I feel like that could be a writing prop. But this week, I don't feel like I'm going to do one until Friday. But I'm going to keep this one in mind because I really like this. I think I can expand a story out of this one. So I, uh, time's up. I finished my sentence. I'm going to click the button. We're going to review some of the stuff on the next page and then this looked okay. I'm going to randomly pick one. Not too many here yet today. I'm one of about six or seven. And you know, I like poems, so I got to go for a poem. Every day we wish for you to leave, depart across the asphalt that's as gray and flat as your soul. 
We wish for you to move on your straight trajectory like you want us to and leave us for shaded hours in peace, even though we call you father. I don't know if I'm equipped to, to like talk about that. Another shadow box. Are, are they a member? They are a member. I can kind of relate to that. Um, my stepfather isn't a very nice guy. And seeing something like this reminds me of waiting for that one day that you know that person's going out and you, you see him leave the garage and hear their car turn on and you can almost feel through the earth as they pull away and pull out into the road and leave. And you're just kind of like anticipating that and waiting for that so you can breathe and be free. Even, you know, it's that feeling that even though you care for somebody and they're supposed to be caring for you, even when they leave, you get this huge sigh of relief and you feel free for a couple of hours. So totally feel that one. Driveways are a thing that exists in the, t in the townships of South Africa. No one owns a car, but everyone owns a driveway. They think it makes them look rich or something. Most of these driveways have gates on them, as if to keep people away. But there's no attached fence, just a gate. It's very surreal. Let's buy a Zolana. I never heard of that. But that's a cool thing uh, to hear about. But I guess, yeah, if, if all you've seen in a movie is, like, these huge iron gates with a driveway leading up to a huge house... And it's like what the rich people have. You think that's what make people? That's something that uh, outwardly displays people's rich. So you'd go for it. Houses have driveways. They are made of concrete or tar. In the old days, they tarred someone by pouring hot tar on them and covering them in feathers. This would kill you, as tar is very hot, and you would melt. Feels feels pretty spot on. Kind of veered away from the driveways, but. It's what comes to your mind. It's not just focus on the driveway. Because if we did that, I wouldn't have as much to say about my own because it brought a memory to me from just thinking about the driveway. It's pretty cool. All right. So this was another episode of Write Daily, a 60 second word sprint. This was um, driveway on a Wednesday. I'm going to keep mine in mind, which is down here. Um, the latter half of mine that I really liked. I'm going to keep that in mind for a writing prompt that I'm suggesting now I'm going to do on Friday. And I'll show you how I'm going to put those together and how that's going to work. So if you wrote with me today, leave me a comment down below or hit me on Twitter. I'm at Hold Me to Run on, uh, at Twitter. I'm going to put my blurb as usual in my um, description. I'm going to let you know how to reach me in the description. I'm going to link that down below, all of that. I'm going to have a little thing on the screen. I'm like, this is linked down below. It's pretty awesome. So if you wrote with me today, thanks for hanging out. Um, if you like this video, leave me a like. If you want to see more of this stuff and what we're going to do later this week after all these word sprints and how we're going to transform it into... Uh, bigger longer writing subscribe and thanks for hanging with me see you guys next time